Hello everybody, Fear My Games here with the next part of my Guild Wars Prophecies playthrough. We are at the Gates of Kraito. This is the mission that will allow us to enter the Lion's Arch and get our refugees safely into Kraito. We started over here in Ascalon. Fighting way through the char, eventually deciding, fuck this shit, we're out. And we fled across the Shiver Peaks. Yaxman to pull this past, pull this past the Frostgate to the Frostgate to Beacon's Perch. And all the way now to the Gates of Krita. So this is the culmination of all of our efforts to get our people safely here and away from the Char. So let's get this mission started. So make contact with the local authorities at Lion's Arch is our goal. Where, oh, where could you be? Well, it looks like some people are being attacked over there, but we can't really help them right now. By the sound of it, it's undead. Yeah. Some Crichton males being killed. Some farmers running away. Save the farmers! They're gonna be attacked! Looks like the Mesmers did some focus firing on me, so... I'm gonna focus fire, counter focus fire on them. Mwahaha. <laughs> Oh, it looks now the grasping ghouls that we that were here killing the uh, <coughs> the ma the Crichton males are here. Fragility, haha! Interrupted your little fragility. Get wrecked, mate. Let's see if he tries to cast a spell. I'll try to interrupt it. Try to make sure we keep him in range. Interrupt that, and he's dead. Perfect. So we save some farmers, and looks like there's some someone over there. Oink! Oh, it's a pig. Is there anything over here? Probably not, but I'm kind of curious. Hey, piggy! How are you doing, Mr. Piggy? Oink! <laughs> I can't speak to animals. Lots of skeletons down below there. But looks like this area is safe for now. I don't know I, this one. Now, now that we're at this point, I have no idea what any of the bonuses are, so we'll have to keep a close eye out and see what happens and if anything appears for it. Maybe I should have looked it up, but you know, it's fine. Hopefully I figure it out. See, so we have more pig. Looks like we have piggies, but they aren't. They're just background. They're not actually like creatures or anything like that. So that's kind of interesting the way they did that. I guess they could if it was creatures. They couldn't have them be moving like that one because most of the enemies. Oh hey, I could. And it wasn't fast enough to interrupt fragility. Oh, I did interrupt his ether fe feast by accident, <laughs> which is which is funny. Die, Onan the Spiritless. Die. Ah. Oh, he healed himself. But on the right side, I said, fuck you. And now he's dead. Oh, the guy cast clumsiness ran away. That's unfortunate. Meant that my, um, I spelled my back. It wasn't as effective as it could be. They did focus fire a hench, my hench, my healer henchman, unfortunately, but not to the end of the world. It looks like a victory tokens are dropped. Must be back in. We must be at a festival. I think we're. I think it's the. I forget what festival it is. I, it's uh. We got some victory tokens now. It's part of it. So I'm just stretching. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> so another zombie warlock. I'm surprised that we didn't aggro that ranger at all. He's just like, it's fine. No biggie. <laughs> I know he's dead. I'm poisoned, but I'm not dead. That's what's important. There is a large number of skeletal enemies here. Maybe we should pause for a moment and let them kind of move past us. Or we just walk around, apparently. I wonder if this is the way to go. There is a road here, but there's also a road that way. Well, no harm in exploring, unless this happens to be one of those missions where it's speed-based and nothing, not anything else. 
a little link, so if those of you are interested in getting a Lynx pet in your playthrough, you apparently can get a Lynx in this mission if you do a little exploring like I am. The ranger is focus fired me. How rude is that? I'll focus fire you in return. Because that's what you deserve, you criminal scum. I feel like this area just had just some zomb some skeletons and stuff like that. Didn't seem to have anything all that important. I should I could have interrupted his attack if I'm being honest. I probably should have. There's a grasping ghoul there. I'll cast empathy on him so he doesn't hurt as hard, and then I'll clumsy him so his next attack gets interrupted. No, oh, apparently that guy's still alive. Yeah, it does appear that this was a dead end. But there's a link here. We found that. I think that, that made the time well spent, okay? <laughs> Looks like we are we still have people dealing with poison problems, so keep that in mind. Oh. <laughs> Apparently standing in this thing poisons us, so a little awkward. But on the bright side, we can capture these two guys. We do need to get out of this poison though. We don't, our healers aren't exactly strong enough to warrant, to allow us to stand in this poison, you know? Like, it's a clot almost died. I don't think he was focus fired at all. I think he was just standing in the bad in a bad spot. Oh, what's over there? There's a, there's a light shining in there. It tells me I must go this way. Whether or not that's accurate is up for debate. But there's hellhounds and stuff over here. These things may be level 16, but I am level 14, so they're not that much bigger than me. And apparently these guys can cast, uh, have, have sword abilities. I guess their bones are their swords. So if we want to explore this way, I think this is where the big, big group of enemies is over here. We probably do not want to go this way, but we can't. But I think this is where the main story wants us to go, so we'll go this way. I don't, I would, I'd be surprised if the bonus happened to be there, but, you know, who knows. Apparently I am poisoned. I would suck if that was actually the bonus and I'm like, ignored it. Ignore the entire that. I miss this guy casting Phantom Pain, but it's not the end. What's Fragility even do? Target an adjacent foe takes 60 damage each time they suffer or recover from a new condition. I wonder if each attack from Apply Poison technically applies a new condition, so I wonder if that counts, or if it has to be a separate condition. That's something I'm kind of curious about. I didn't think about that before. That one's casting Apply Poison. Get wrecked, mate. Yeah, that clumsy has got some man's value. He interrupted three enemies, right? Two enemies uh, initially, immediately, and then the third one, right when he tried to attack. Perfect. The white mantle seeker spoons. We did take our sweet time. Looks like they're starting to die a little bit. Mm. Oh, well, they're just my, my mantle. It's fine. They're not Ascalonians or anything. Apparently, really wanted that Death Nova because. Like, I interrupted and these immediately went back to like, actually, I still want to cast that. Die, die, die. Yep, you guys are dead. So we have people up on the walls up there. Nice little white mantle fortress over here. Justic R. Torimo. I assume he's the one who's going to continue the main this, this main section of the mission. So the Lions Arch is sealed by order of Justicar Hablon. He has gone south 
to deal with an invasion of undead. Well, south of here would be over here, so I guess we'll have to find that just a car over there. I don't know, son. I don't know. I'm guessing he's saying what's going on. What does this guy say? Orion historian. Fast I don't think any. I didn't think anyone survived over there. You found Oink? I mean, you made my son very happy. Maybe I could just... Oh, the bonus is to retrieve the Orion text and have it translated. What? How did I get the sudden thing? Hey, wait. Oink is here, too? Wait a second. They're from over the mountains from Ascalon. There's a shipwreck in a, in a cove southwest of here. It looks like to be an old... God, dear, it went too fast! I, mean, I need to talk to him again. If you find anything of interest down there, perhaps I can help you to identify it. So, it looks like finding the shipwreck in the cove southwest of here, so about over here, seem is where the bonus is. Apparently, talking to Oink was actually a good thing. I didn't... Was he following us and I didn't notice him? Because... But when we talked to this guy, he said, Oh, you found Oink, and then we gave it to him. Like, I did not think we actually had Oink following us. So... Let me know if you guys see it, because I completely didn't notice Oink following us. I'll be entirely honest with you guys. <coughs> Focus fire. Ah, oh, I was too slow to interrupt his spirit shackles. What's mine rack do? Ah, he's dead. Never mind. I guess it's a mine rack. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I'm getting a decent amount of victory tokens. So it's the cove south and west. So I'm gonna head this way and see if that's where the shipwreck is. I can't walk down, so I have to go further around here. Let's see. My guess is this was where it's referring to, but I could be wrong. Let's find that shipwreck team. Do, 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 do. Some Lightning Drake's level 18 over here. We're getting some higher level enemies than us right now. Apparently, fight, 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 Mr. Lightning Drake. I was not expecting him to fire a lightning orb at us, but I will happily cause him some inconveniences the next time they cast it. And then I did. Tribal Blade, generic though, so nothing to do about it. Lightning Drake, Lightning Drake. Well, exploration. Dum -ba -dum -ba -ba -ba. Too slow. Get up that one though. Stopping him from being able to cast his lovely spells, I think works out just fine with me. Dead. There's a lot of these lightning drakes here. Enter of that one, enter of that one. Oh, I didn't have enough energy left, enter of that one. Oh, looks like he cast Lightning Orb again. What's the cooldown of that one? Five seconds? I guess he can just cast it pretty often, so. I'm not surprised I dropped an air staff off. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, hiccups, man. Hiccups. An Orion. So there's a shipwreck somewhere here. Somewhere. Or maybe it's more this way. Maybe it should be more that way. I kind of just assumed it was over this way. But I could very well be wrong, because he said south and west, which would be this way. Uh, he should die. Oh, lightning orb interrupt that, and he's dead. That was actually a very good use of deep wound from one of my henchmen. I didn't even know we had a source of deep wound up until right now. Go to know though. Go to know. Oh, uh, no. Uh, oh, I interrupted it. Oh, thank goodness. I, I accidentally, like, um, 
I was like, if I just ha like had a habit, just press my interrupt spell there, and then I was like, oh wait, he's like, he probably not be casting anything. But then thankfully he started casting lightning or just as my character cast it, so it was like perfectly timed, totally on purpose kind of moment right there. You know, I really don't think I did many exploring when I've done when I did this mission in the past. So it's the kind of things where it's like I don't remember being here before, but it's very interesting. Oh, look like there's a village over there too. Honestly, though, the amount of exploring is going on. It's kind of fun. It's fun. All right. I can see how people can play Skyrim a lot and do everything. <laughs> you know, and I'm just doing this much in just an MMORPG kind of game, you know? Not even, technically not even its main job is all this exploration stuff. But yeah, one thing I typically say I like about Guild Wars 1, this is one of the things that, I know I talk a lot about Guild differences between Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2. But I could safely say is one different one difference in Guild Wars One mission design and Guild Wars Two mission design. Guild Wars Two mission design is very simple. Go this way, do it. Guild Wars One is here. Go do this one. But you have multiple ways of doing so, and you could technically be go wasting your time going the wrong direction. But you know that's your choice. I don't see any shipwreck over here, so let me try going back this way a little bit. Well, actually, is this following the mission? Following the beach to the south might be where the mission actually wanted me to go. So, keeping that in mind, maybe I want to go west from here, maybe go this way, and come back later. Alright, by another lightning orb. Ah! Ah! They're spamming me! Uh, I was too slow to realize what that guy was doing. I didn't really do a very good job of controlling those guys' use of lighting orbs, but oh well. <clears throat> I mean, I can only do two of them uh, at a time. Well, so if there's a white man with seeker trying to fight off these zombies all by his lonesome, I don't think he's going to really succeed. But it was good on him to try. Oof. That was not from that guy. I know that for certain. Oh my god, that, that hurt. Fuck off. I really wish my backfire <clears throat> wasn't interrupted on this guy. So I think it would have made our lives a lot easier. What? My interrupt spell didn't work on that. Are you kidding me? Interrupt that. Apparently, that's not. I guess that's a. That's not a spell. I guess it's considered a skill. Bullshit on that one. As long as I there. All right. There's a warlock left. So he's the one who first interrupted me with his earthquake when I tried casting my. Uh, interrupt the death nova. I mean, now it's just the area. Alright, so we know that- So I think that's the way to continue the main plot, is east. Because it says head south across the beach to find- and which assumes we went across the beach technically to the south, but we went south and then trying to like hug the coast here. There, he's probably over there. So this I guess is the alternate route, this would be like the f more direct route. Interrupt that. Uh, interrupt. Uh, I didn't think he was casting spells yet, but it's fine. Keep an eye out for what they do. Oh, that guy's casting a spell. Just as I looked away from him, he started casting a spell, so it was like too late at that point. Ah, it's too slow. So, we know the shipwreck can't be, is not to the set or due south, it's so, uh, and it can't go southwest from this direction. So let's try going back up to the beginning and heading west from there. 
Uh, see if we can go any for, for any west here. Otherwise, we might have to wait a little bit. Ah, it's too slow to soon prep this deep freeze. You can fuck off, please. He almost killed himself there with backfire because I think he still had it on him when he cast that spell, which is why he took a lot of damage there. Uh, so I didn't see a shipwreck over here. Let's try going back up and around. And hopefully, all of you guys are having a good day. Uh, as this video like being released, the recording is a bit further off, but as the time of this video being released, he should be releasing about two days before Independence Day. It's July 4th. So if any of you guys are in the fellow Americans, Americans, Americanos, whatever you want to call it, say it as, happy Independence Day. Early a little bit, I know, but still. I just want to see if I can talk to any of these guys. So apparently, I guess I can't be able to do the bonus event until after I complete this main part because I don't see any alternative way of going about things. So yeah, we just got to go back south and just went east to the main story stuff. I am actually kind of curious though. But one thing is, there's a group of enemies right here, but I have no reason why I have no idea why they'd be here. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little exploration here. More out of curiosity than anything else. Interrupt that. Interrupt that. Hey, I'll just cast backfire on you. For a second there, I thought I was interrupted, but I was not interrupted, so we're good. We just got like hit by a spell that kind of had us do a motion. Right side though, these guys are pretty easy to deal with, so I'm not too worried about dying in this, not taking too long, hopefully. Oh, there is a crying chest here, which we can use our crying, which we might be able to use our steel key to open, though, and we might actually have to go back into the Shiver Peaks for the steel key, now that I think about it. I think crying key, probably crying chest probably uses a crying key, not a steel key, so. Oh well. Maybe I'll hold the steel key for like hard mode stuff. Uh, cause yeah, I assume my key won't work on this thing. Yep. And look, like this is just an alternative alternate route to get here. So yeah, there's that. What is over there? Is anything over there? I'm determined to find something. But it looks like there's something up, but it looks like I can't go that way. It looks, it's just for looks. Unless, unless, yes I can. I'm gonna, I want to go that way. I want to see what's over there. Hmm. I doubt there's a shipwreck over here, but I could be wrong. Oh look, there's a little water fishy over there. Looks like a shark. We go around this way. We're not too. There's that bridge that's li lifted upwards from here. Oh, apparently, just took her Hablon. Oh, yeah, he is actually. I was right. He is right there. We, we, we reached the range in which he got added to our thing. Um, that's kind of funny. While we're doing just some ge general exploration, it looks like the enemies up here. We're about to pass by some enemies. That we otherwise could avoid. Oh, what's over there? More enemies. So yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of zombies and stuff over here. So we can go through here, kill the, the Skeletors, and then meet the Justicar. First, what's over here? It looks like Murgles and those Lightning Drakes. Who are the Lightning Drakes fighting? They seem to be fighting each other. Well, let's, you know, add him some of this, you know, Lightning Drake on Lightning Drake action right here. Oh, uh, he, th that was already cast. I, want, I guess, like, none of the other ones I think we saw were actually kill, trying to kill each other like that, so... It's quite interesting how they start doing that here. Maybe they're fighting over the same territory. I don't see any items down here, so... 
You just this is just more exploration that didn't really do much of anything. Except maybe help with our cartography, maybe? That might be what it helped with. They know cartography, you have to explore the whole map, so technically we've explored this part of the world, so maybe it was useful after all. Alright, zombies. Prepare to fight, fight, fight. Interrupted that guy's attack last moment. Easy clap. Can't sleep with you on that guy, so he, so he hurts to kill, try to attack people. Same with this guy, have him be attacked. Then I'm gonna move up to try and kill these zombie warlocks. I'm prepared to interrupt that guy's death nova. Haha, suckler. I can't interrupt in time! Oh, I barely did. I barely got the energy back to interrupt him in time. That was close. Alright, I'm gonna clumsiness on that guy, which will hit all of his friends around him. Interrupt him with the Bane Signet. That guy's trying to nibble on his fellow companions over there. So we killed these Skeletors. Might as well go to the Justicar now, because there's nothing else to really explore at this point. Unless there's a shipwreck over there. Should we check it out, you think, guys? What do you think? Check it out. Maybe. We'll see what this guy says. Oh, cutscene. You've arrived in Krita at the wrong moment, friend. I don't have time for long speeches, but I'll make you this deal. Help me fight these undead, and I'll give you and your people passage into Lion's Arch. Which part of those undead? I kind of killed a lot of undead already, Mr. Justicar. But first things first, let me just check while you while you go fight those guys, I'm gonna see if there's anything over here of interest to me. The answer's no. Okay, I'll follow you. I feel like a therapy ship like that would fit too, but I guess the cove it did say south and west. But I just gotta hope we don't finish the main story before we get there. We charged past the first layer of zombies already because we're they're dead. I kind of killed them on the way over. I wonder if these NPCs move faster than me or slow or about the same speed. I guess I'm just I'm kind of catching up to them though. They may have stopped and waited for a moment. Oh. Is this like rice, maybe? I don't really know much about farming, but I know rice is kind of like the kind of one of the things that ends up being in the water. Haja blood wall. Why? They're trying to focus fire the healer. Save the healer. Interrupt the healing signet there, which we can only really do once. Do the enemies have a healer? I don't know how that guy's getting so much health back. I mean, like, he wasn't successfully getting off his healing signet. Oh, that surprised me. I'll take the high ground above both sides of the entrance of the swamp. If you can lure the bony bastards out, we'll rain hell down on their heads. Okay, wait. Am I supposed to follow the army, or am I supposed to follow the ju- I'm just gonna follow the Justicar and hope for the best. Guys, up on this guy. While well, this guy gets focused fire down, and now he's dead. Perfect. So this is the bridge that was lifted up. Another Crichton chest. I think that our steel key won't work for, unfortunately. Exploration. Bum -ba -da -bum -bum -ba. <laughs> yeah, today is, is one of my easy days of work. Today's Tuesday. They moved my morning kiddo from the 
So I, okay, so I'm not. I guess I was supposed to follow this guy to make sure he makes it safely, but after that, I have to go follow the other guys, I guess. Uh, but my morning clan went from ten to one to nine to twelve. Same amount of hours, just different time window, uh, which I like. I like the window a little bit better. Well, partially because it's also going to like the clinic area, which is closer to my house than his house was, which means that I can leave a little later. Well, not leave a little later, technically, because I think you still have to leave about like 50 minutes to an hour earlier than I did before, but it's like, you know, in terms of like leaving closer to the work kind of thing, it makes it easier. Less time spent getting home to for lunch break, which meant that I was able to come home, eat some lunch, watch a an episode of anime, and then do this video recording. I should still have time to do some workout stuff uh, before I get back. I think the White Mantle could probably win this without us, because, I mean, if you look at it, the White Mantle seem to be higher level than these skeletons, so... And I wonder if they're resurrecting the White Mantle, too. Ah, uh, Suton. Bing's eating took a little too long, but he died anyways right after, so it's not the end of the world. Sounds like the guy's and ghouls saying, die, die. I thought it was just like, going, ah, ah. I might actually be saying, die, die. Oh. That white mantle actually died. I'm kind of surprised because he is, a, again, a higher level than those guys, but. Maybe they just don't do enough DPS. This side's definitely not quite as well maintained as that side. That side had healers and everything. These guys just have. Two seekers and and a and a knight. Definitely a bit on the weaker end. Thanks. Kill the grasping ghouls! Kill them all! He's trying to nibble. No nibbling for you, good sir. Get to cast some clumsiness on that one. Oh, apparently that guy. Oh, interrupt that. Thank you very much. Looks like they are apparently. I guess they're Jason. They're in. Oh, they're in the area. That's what that was. I thought it was just a J. I thought it was just a Jason, but it's, only, it's an, actually an area, which is a lot bigger than that. I wonder if us clearing out. No, that was a different section of the swamp. Never mind. I was about to say. I was like, maybe. I wonder if clearing out the sec that section of the swamp helped anything. What is that? What in the world was that red thing right there? It was like here. Oh, now it's back. Is that a will o' wisp? We drop that. Drop that again. He animated a bone fiend. Oh, cutscene time. Is that the Lion Guard? I think that's a Lion Guard. Your bravery is unquestionable. Your honor unmatched. On behalf of the White Mantle, I thank you greatly for your service. Our founder, Saul D'Alessio himself, would have been proud to call you his friends. As promised, your request for entrance to Lion's Eye... Don't tell me that's the end of the mission. You and your fellow Ascalons are welcome here. Don't tell me that's the end of the mission. I will escort you to town personally. Make sure you receive a proper reception. No, this seems like an end to the mission. No, don't be the end. Don't be the end. I did find the shipwreck.
Welcome to Lion's Arch. We've arrived in Lion's Arch. Dang it! <laughs> this is... Alright. The real question is, where was this shipwreck to the southwest? I feel like I've looked everywhere for it. I found it. The scepter of ore. Thank Twin how we found it first. Yet the undead get this. Come on. The sooner we get this scepter into safekeeping, the better. You better run before those uh, those guys with ghouls kill you. I ain't Help! The undead! We're under attack! We can't let them get the scepter! Make haste to the Temple of Tolerance! Take the scepter to Professor Dorian! We'll hold back the undead for as long as we can! But... but... Just go! You're dead now. The lich. Little fool, run. I have all the time in the world. The scepter will be mine again soon enough. Everything proceeds according to the prophecy. Well, prophecy, that sounds important. <laughs> I assume it's the flame seeker prophecies. But I could be misremember. I mean, I could be misremembering that maybe that there's a separate prophecy. But considering this is called prophecies, and the Flame Seeker prophecy is supposed to be connected to this one, so I can unlock travel to Kepta, take the quest Menlo's request from First Watch Sergio. To unlock travel to Lona, take the Sunseekers and Crytek quest from Falangard Figo. To unlock the Eye of the North, accept what lies beneath from Quest Caldorov. I don't think I'm going to be doing any of those, or if I do, I'll be dipping my toes in them slightly to try and get some stuff from them. There's a lot of side quests here, and a, and a decent amount to do in the main quest. One of the most important things that has happened since because we've arrived in Lion's Arch is going is the fact that, also, roller battle racing is always fun in the Dragon Arena. I wonder if anyone's actually doing that. It'd be kind of fun to try it. Um... Is that the fact that we get our, this is, I believe, max level armor, I think, right? Or at least higher level armor. No, no, it's a no. It's not max level armor, I forgot. Max level armor is not until we get way over here, which is going to take a while. But we get, um, we get a new type of armor, which is, I believe, the performer attire, I think, is the new one. That we get from being in Krita. Or, unless there's actually something that actually says Crichton. But I think it's the Performer attire, as if, if we want it, is now available. Same energy as what we already have, though. Same same armor, I mean. If I want max level armor, I could act... What I can do is I can actually dip into... To, to um... If I choose to dip into Cantha with the side quests and stuff, I will actually unlock... I will actually be able to get max level armor, because you get that really fast in Cantha. And just dipping your toes in there will get you max level armor. But I don't know if I'm, that's what I'm going to do. We'll keep going as we are, at least for now. So Menlo's request. That's what if we want to go to Cantha, that's what that would be. So we're not, we're not going to be interested for now. We have other side quests, like the Villainy of Galrath and stuff like that. But what we're going to do real fast is I'm going to pause the recording and I'll see you guys back in just a moment. I'm going to go and do the get the um, get that side quest completed and then I'll see you guys back there in just a moment. Alright. So I did do the research and it did apparently this this man is a liar. It is not southwest of here. It is northeast of here. I looked it up on the wiki because I was like, bullshit. I explored the entire, as far south and west as I can go. And I turned out I was right. It was bullshit. 
It's apparently over here. This guy gave me horrible directions. Is this guy even an actual historian? It's Malaka. So, we're gonna go find that bonus and we're gonna get it on. <laughs> I'm like, I they said that was, that was just like, are you kidding me? I was exploring that way and, and apparently I was wrong. What's actually funny is that actually the place that I thought was useless to explore that I, is actually an area that I should have kept exploring because that's actually where the bonus was and as you're gonna see in just a moment. So because apparently like when I went up here, I was like, oh, you know, I found some lightning drakes. So well, that was kind of cool exploration. I was able to like kill some of the enemies over here before the white mantle even arrived there, but actual, but now actuality, that's, this is actually where I was supposed to go. Nah, I was too slow. My interrupt spells kind of a little bit bored there. But, um, I just need to go further north than I thought I needed, than I was. I was like... Oh, look, he said southwest. That means me and me going north is just me doing some exploration. But no, me going north was the right way to go. So remember over there is where we saw the drakes uh, trying to kill each other for territorial purposes. Also, I did find by doing this, and apparently, so I keep going this way. But, um, what was I going to say? Is, um... Hurley Oik did follow us. I just completely didn't notice him because I, because I was like kind of looking for Oink when I did the section when I did the beginning again, and yet and I did find Oink following us, and he was actually attacking people with us. So he was he was pulling his weight, and apparently even though I went faster this time than I did last time, because I kind of just you know zoomed went in now that I know that there was no bonus content in the direction I explored. Uh, I found the same amount of enemies, actually there's the same amount of dead white mantle. So I wonder if like part of that's scripted or what, but I'm surprised to find that there's more dead people there. That there's the same amount of dead people. Kind of weird. But yeah, so apparently the shipwreck's there. See, look, wait a second. No, no, never mind. Now there's the shipwreck right here. Is this look? There's the location. This is south. This is west. He says southwest. Guess what? It's northeast. Well, it's kind of funny. As a joke, I mentioned maybe he got it completely wrong and it was and it got opposite. It was, it was supposed to be northeast. And I I find it funny that I was actually right. My joke was actually accurate. <laughs> so now we have the Orient text and we can now take it to go see him. Apparently some phantasms aren't too happy with what we're doing because oh my god my henchmen are being deleted right now. That's a lot of damage. No. Not that now. That was a surprise. Like it's, I was not expecting that. Uh, I guess I'll take some time for appearances sake to start resing people. Might as well, because you know that orange guy, he's pretty nice. Everyone, uh, like you know, little thorns of traitors. I mean, technically, he probably has a bounty on set anyways. Hopefully, you picked the Orion, not not the same guy as I. You picked the same guy as I did. Ah, screw Orion. Come on, come on, we'll pick, we'll pick you up too, because I'm a nice guy. Come on. Yeah, apparently, this guy has no actual sense of direction. Apparently, do not trust what the AI, what the NPCs think is a direction. So that's what I learned from this adventure. Apparently, what's actually kind of funny is if we actually went through that cave that I was, that we like stopped at, thinking it wasn't per re actually really a thing, we actually would have encountered the um, the ship here by through that exploration. 
So me choosing not to go that way actually caused some problems, actually caused us some problems. Honestly, hats off to reading it. I thought it was entirely would be a waste of time going that way, but actually I was wrong. It wasn't entirely a waste of time. Orion, you d is dead again. Scrub. Let me get some rezzing now. Apparently somebody else already targeted here to res with their signet. Alright, there we go. Let it be known, exploring every avenue in a mission is not necessarily a waste of time. As it's been seen here. Oh, more smoke guys. Uh, oh, that's too slow. You killed our healer again. Who does that? Rude people, that's who. Alright. Time to get her back up with my magic. There's a good there's a reason why I bring this spell with us. In case my henchmen get themselves killed. That's exactly why I bring them. And most of my groups with my heroes, even with my heroes, I tend to have at least two to three heroes with the ability to resurrect, or else I don't feel like there's enough people able to resurrect, and that'd be a problem. Because usually if I have heroes, I do not take resurrection skills, because I trust my heroes to be able to do their dang job. But as it stands, I don't trust henchmen to do their job, so... Okay, sorry. <laughs> so we'll bring this text back, and... Get this bonus done, and then we can just map jump back to Lion's Arch. So, I don't think we'll have, when we finish with this bonus thing, I'll probably map travel to Lion's Arch, and that'll probably be the end of the episode. The reason why is it did take me an extra few, bit of time that I had allotted to other stuff to get this bonus done today. So I won't be. I'll do the side quest. Oh, the side quest exploring stuff next, next time. I'll accept all the side quests and look at Rhine Lion's Arch. We'll be doing it on next episode. Okay, so here's this Orion historian. It, ra it matches, rhymes. I mean, as I thought, this is an old Orion text. It's a passage from the memoirs of Thaddeus. It's not as you thought, Mister. Or McLean. It's not usually it's south and west. It was north and east. Get your directions right. God. Useless. Alright, well, we did the bonus, everybody. So back to Lion's Arch we go. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like the video, feel free to press the like button down below. Subscribe for more content. Of course, Rumble. Press that Rumble button. And feel free to comment if you like the video or not. Tell, give me some nice feedback. You know, all that lovely jazz. And I will see you guys next time. We are in Kraita. <laughs>